Hi, my name is Tamara and you are watching Things Even a Monkey Should Know. Thanks so much for watching again today. As you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I'm not a professional at this do-it-yourself stuff. I'm just a girl who's figured out that there are a lot of things around the house and out in the yard and on my cars that I can do myself and save myself usually both time and money. So I hope you have saved those things now too. So uh, today is more of a public service announcement, I think, than an actual do-it-yourself, but it was a valuable piece of information that I learned about changing the belt in my truck that I want to share with you. So let's have a look at that. So really what I'm going to do is share a little story that happened to me recently. Um, my the, the belt on my truck started to squeak um, and in case you don't know all vehicles have a belt in them that basically I can't tell you everything it does, but if that belt breaks, then you're going to be dead in the water. You're not going to be able to go. It's what's called a timing belt. And whenever you hear a vehicle that starts up and has a loud squeal to it, a lot of times it's because that belt needs to be changed. So in my truck a few months ago, um, I started hearing that squeal and I knew that the belt needed to be changed. So I took it to my local oil change place that does you know other minor things like changing belts and I told them that it needed to be changed they said that they changed it um, about three months afterward my belt started to squeak again now if you have a brand new belt it shouldn't be squealing until it's like five years old so um, this time I uh, took it to my dad who happens to be I would call him Mr. Fix-It. I don't think I've ever seen him get hold of anything he can't fix. And um, he looked at my belt, and I hope you can see this, but he looked in there, or he looked at it, and um, can you see the cracking and the dry rod on this belt? This is the belt that was still in my truck. Now this, obviously, is not a new belt. And um, so he looked further, and what this um, place had done was they had put some kind of grease on the belt to stop it from squealing. They still charged me their full price for installation in a new belt, but they just sent me out with my old belt and now a very messy, greasy job. So um, my dad and I actually replaced the belt, and I'm going to see if I can show you where it is. I apologize for the shakiness here. Um, but there's the belt right down in there. And as you can see, it's kind of shiny and slick. That's how it should look. Um, the other one, you can definitely see the cracks. It didn't have much life left in it. Um, now, unfortunately, since um, my dad and I had not ever changed one of these belts before. He said he was pretty sure he could do it, but he wasn't for sure, so we did not film it. So I guess that'll be next time around. However, it is possible to do, and nicely enough, and I guess um, actually under a lot of hoods, there is, in, or there are instructions more or less for how to change a belt, so it shows you, you know, all the different years that your belt will go around. And it did help a lot to have two pairs of hands so that you know, one of us could be holding something and the other tightening. So my point is just to let you know that if you get your belt changed in your vehicle by someone else, you're 99 times out of 100, you're going to be able to see the belt in your vehicle. And I would just recommend, even if you really trust the place, I would recommend that you pop your hood and you take a look at your belt and uh, if, if you can't see them when they're supposedly changing it, um, but that you just take a look and make sure that they did actually change it because I could have been in a situation where my belt snapped when I was on the road and I would have been pretty much dead in the water, not on any fault, not for any fault of my maintenance, but because unfortunately I ran into yet another dishonest car repair place. So. Um, that's my, that's my two cents for the day. I hope that helped you. I hope you don't ever actually run into that because it makes me kind of sad that people are dishonest like that. Um, but it is something to keep in mind because, you know, you do have to keep an eye, unfortunately, a lot of times on 
places to make sure that they do what they say they're going to do. So um, anyway, I hope that <laughs> helps you out. And um, thank you very much for watching today. Thanks so much to everybody who's already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please find the button over there and go ahead and do that now. And if uh, you enjoyed the show and it helped you, please share it with your friends too. So until next time, have a great week and I'll see you again soon.